He's kind of he's making that transition from like the secondary to main right. and main to secondary. Right. But here we go. I mean, Olimar versus Lucario. I would say history would favor Olimar just because you know a lot more kill power. But and then the Pikmin just interrupts all of Lucario's core spirit shenanigans. Yeah. So you know it's gonna be really hard for Sue to kind of like find his way in. You know. Oh. And see, every time that he tries to do a combo like that, that's like not guaranteed. He's just gonna get whistled through. Yeah, historically, I would say is like Olimar is just like a better character than Lucario. Although Lucario in this game definitely has uh, some nice stuff. If anything, you know, you were saying Pikmin kind of thwart the aura, but at the same time, since they do latch on and do damage, like that gives Lucario more rage and aura. So that's something that could come into the matchup. Uh, at any moment. Ooh! You know what, you were saying it came into the matchup, but yep. I feel like it came in right there with right that there. heavy forward smash read. You know what? So, yet again, I, I agree with you, you know, a lot of the Pikmin, you know, as long as it's not the purple Pikmin, like, it'll help Sue reliably take damage without, like, dying, basically. Right. And you know what, as long as he can keep this lead, you know, keep True Tone kind of, like, zoned out, because I believe, you know, a little bit more disjoints on Lucario's attacks can help him with the matchup into the close range. And you know what? A little bit quicker attacks too, especially with that Nair. So the Shukong can't really keep up with Shukong with uh, the suit can keep up with Shukong's uh, ability to you know, throw out Pikmin. Ooh, and no way! Oh my god, I thought that almost killed it. Nearly sent Shukong under the blast sword. The empty landing into the Force Palm. Almost doing it in, but Shukong hanging out to his life right here. Stuck at the ledge. Lots of counters coming out from Sue. He's doing so well of hanging on to this first stock, and he's got a fully charged Aura Sphere now. And again, he's about to take the stock with that snipe. Oh my god. Yeah, three stocks to one right here for Sue. He is just proving to be dominant over uh, Shuton. If anything, like, I think Sue is like way, definitely way lower on the PGR than Shuton. I don't know what the ranking is in, in Japan. Because I know they have like their own ranking out there, right. but I, if Sue were to travel more, I think he would be so much higher. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like Sue is one of those. He's one of those like niche players yeah. in terms of like the the worldwide competitive. You know, like everybody knows Sue is good, but they're not sure like how good Sue is. Ooh, man, he's just gotta show us, and he's showing us a little bit of a taste right here at Wednesday Night Fights at the Esports Arena. Yeah. Um, getting an up air, getting a second one. He's got two purple Pikmin. On deck right now. And you know, this is where Shuton really needs to find the kill right before he gets a lot of rage. I mean, he's at like medium rage right now. Now he's at like semi high rage. But you know what? Like another 10%. And you know what? Shuton has to worry about dying. Like he's at kill percent almost. And that's the scary thing. You know what? All these Aura Spheres, you know, the Pikmin giving their lives for their master. Be like, oh, okay, I shall protect you from this giant ball of death. But you know what? That's going to be it. Up the up throw, pivot grab from Shuton taking Sue's second stock, and we're down to our last stocks here. Up throw into the up air. And yet again, this is gonna come down to will Sue rack up enough damage to you know find that like one hit kill, or will Shuton just slowly just smother him out? I feel like this stage is like really good for Lucario. I don't know, just the way that I see Sue moving around it. I feel like the platform positioning gives him the freedom to kind of just like full jump and mix up like what he's gonna do, right? He goes towards the corner of one of these platforms, he can double jump, he can be reverse, uh, aura sphere, the landing. Oh my wow. god. See, I, I saw the, the first hit, and I'm like, okay, the first hit hit the Pikmin, and Shuton didn't drop shield, you know that like the second hit wasn't going to do that. And I feel like he wanted the grab or he wanted the forward smash, but he just didn't believe it. Yep. And so he was like, okay, I'm gonna read a roll. And he tried rolling, and then he was just like, oh, I was wrong. Yeah. And then let me shield. And then Mario being a really, really high percent was just like, shield this because of your broken shield yeah, now. Yeah, should get shield poked. To forward yeah. smash, doing the trick, and Sue taking game number one. We're going right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. No change of scenery. Nice punish on the uh, forward air, getting the up smash in. Yeah, Olimar's up smash, I feel like, I'm just like, why is it? <laughs> Why is it a combo starter and a KO? <laughs> who, who was, who was that really doing? Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> who thought it was a good idea to have a smash attack be plus on shield? What the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, whatever, man. It's in the game. We gotta deal with it. Oh, so far, Sue dealing with it really well, actually. He hasn't really like gotten 
I mean, maybe it's because they like play a little bit more often. Right. I, think, I can't speak to how often they actually play in Japan, but you I would assume imagine. they play more than like you know them and Master Mario. Right. You know, I feel like when you're playing a player from like your own region, I feel like Japan. Like I know Japan's huge. It's like as big as California, yes. so there's gonna be like yeah. different regions like Kanto. Uh, uh, like regions that don't interact yeah, with each yeah. other, right? Yeah. So, like, you know, it just kind of like depends. But I feel like when you're like the top players and you go to like the best tournaments, you know, you these players play each other more play frequently. On, yeah. Play on Wi-Fi a ton as well. You're like friends, you know. Like when they members. travel, they they like like go to each other's houses and like group together and they just like practice that. I know, like, yeah. when I go with like my friends, like we always play each other. Funny, funny enough, another region that's like that is actually um, Canada. It's kind of funny on 2 TV, like did the poll, like which character, which players do we want from Canada? It's like, how, how do we do like a good job of re really representing the whole region and not getting like three players from like the west of Canada and like only like one player from the east of Canada and there's like the whole in between portion. Right. Like it's huge. And the players on the west and the east they like never play each other. Right? right. It's like same as East Coast, West Coast here. And like I know we have Ben Gold here yeah. from Australia. Like what about Australia? Like I know Australia is a huge place too. It's, I believe it's divided into like four regions. So like do we take it like do they have like an Australian like national PR that we go off of? Like or do we go by like okay who has like a whole lot of Australian support? Because I know like there are some regions that like they will rally for their members like to hell and back. Man, Truton kind of going in right now. Do you see that? Up smash, reverse up smash into dash forward up smash. What? Dude, that shouldn't be okay. Please delete all of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's the thing, like, I love Shutan. I love Shutan as a player. I think he's phenomenal. I love Shutan watching Shutan as a player, as a person, he's, a, he's just a nice, wholesome guy. He just Ooh. plays a really, really frustrating character. Bruh. But he made him work. Hard, 47%, two stocks intact, and Shutone takes it. Evening out the set count right here, one to one. Sue kind of at a loss for words there. He was like, you know, I was doing so well. I, I, I like was going in on you yeah. super hard, and then you just turn that momentum around in your own favor. And, 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 uh, I mean, Lucario is definitely one of those characters where he needs momentum on his side. Yeah. He needs to... Take oh, enough damage where sure. he has rage and aura, but be able to control neutral to the point where he doesn't die. And that's such a fine line to tread right there. That, you know what, I feel like not many people play with Cario because that line is just so far. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, tempo game number three. Sue already off to not a, such a great start, taking 117% practically unanswered by Shutan. You know, at 120, and it's just gonna keep on rising, especially with that white Pikmin. You know, 130 is only 36% on Shutone. You know, he really has to find his way in. I'm sorry, did that forward tilt just do like 20%? Probably. Like, I know. Oh, he tried. And he the, tried so hard to get the that. The worst smash. part about that is that he got the F smash and it hit the Pikmin, which actually uh, delayed his hitbox, right? And, right. It, and he got the delayed hitbox, which made him just be like, gave him extra frames to get punished. And Shuto just got the charge forward smash for free. You know what? There's the jab jab. And I love that. You no, know, reading the roll to go away. Right? Trying to get the forward smash. But you no, know, the purple Pikmin not going to reach it. But it will be enough to take that stock. Yeah, Shutsu down to his last life right here. You know, I feel like Shutsu was like, okay, game one, like, you got me. But now it's just like, okay, now I remember how to play against Sicario. Now I know what I need oh. to do. So, you know what, you're you're not taking any more. No and I love that. That was so smart. Using the Pikmin as a shield to prevent him from getting hit by that force sphere. But you know what? No Pikmin throw is going to save him from that down air. Yeah. And you got to admire the movement that Sue performed there at the ledge. He went off stage, used a B reverse or a sphere to position himself back onto the stage. And then that set him up perfectly to run off for the immediate dare edge guard uh, and getting the aerial for the KO. So, really solid stuff. You know what, this is a really good lineup for Shutone. Oh, no, a blue and a purple and a white, so yet again, all he needs is like two or three hits. There we go, I mean, Shutone just whacking away with all these purple Pikmin. You know what, this is super deadly for Sue. He's off stage, there's one purple Pikmin. No jump. He sneaks in and manages to make it back on the stage. Yeah, he was forced to recover high, he didn't have a jump. Oh, oh, oh wow. Beautiful text. Yeah. I'm not even sure who tech to be perfectly honest. Oh, that was, that was definitely Shutone. Right. Shutone tech, yeah. and then like, 
to how to kind of react, but there's the extreme speed. And yet again, no, it's Forest Spear is super big. And it's going to be enough to snipe out Two Tone, but you know what? 124%. He can't get grabbed by Blue Pikmin. He can't get hit by Purple Pikmin. So it's going to come down to, like, can he keep Two Tone's line yeah. in check to make sure that he doesn't die? And you know what? The answer yeah. is he cannot. Hey, and he gets hit by the back air. The Purple Pikmin coming through for Shu Tone. Takes it, advances 2 1 now in this set. One game away from moving on. You know, I wonder if Sue's going to change up characters or is he going to continue with Lucario? Because I know his Lucario is the best, but like, he has a Joker, he has a Joker, he has a Banjo. But, uh, yeah, go go with your ace in the hole. Nothing, he knows he, he knows this player, right? You know, Shutan, like, right. Shutan, Lucario, they're like, we're just going to go full mains. Nothing but respect right here. We're trying to win all the money. I know your tricks. I know you know mine. And no, you know no tricks. Just show he did manage to bring in the last stocks, so, yeah. like, it wasn't a far game oh, for him to bring back. It was even, honestly, yeah. like with how much uh, rage and aura Sue had, and like it was an even game for her, despite the mass massive percent this defensive. Woo! Oh, and all that movement pressure, and you just see it like slowly rack up, and you know, that's kind of the dichotomy of the matchup. Like, you hit it off right away so that you can rack up more damage, or you hit it off so that you don't take too much damage and die to a, a stray forward air, back air up that, you know? And Sue, so far, the story he's had is that he's had to make a comeback ever since game number one. He took that first game very cleanly, and ever since then, Shutan has just had his number up an entire stock here, using the whistle to armor through, getting a punish of his own. There's a down tilt, you know, trying to frame the him on the platform, but Sue not going to fall for it. Now he's off stage, and I love that he tried going for a back air, but you know what? Shoot him throughout the Purple Pikmin preemptively, and you know what? It prevented him from coming back. He's off stage, oh, he's the Purple Pikmin, and oh, he read the jump. He's got him off stage, oh. and you know how's he gonna do it? Oh, I love that. You know what? Wow, I dude. love the mix up on that recovery, even though it didn't work out. Yeah. Because Shoot was just like, okay, I know you like to go like kind of a curve, like down into the stage, and I'm in a position where if you do that, I'm gonna kill you. But yeah. Sue tried going like, okay, I see you're there, so I'm gonna go up and above. But you no, know, because right. he went up and above, he had that super hard landing, and you know what, Sue was still in a good enough position to punish that. Oh, but manages to take the stock right there with the counter. But yeah, as you were saying, actually, um, like basically, uh, had Sue recovered any other way, he would have gotten punished either anyways. But the thing that happened there too is that you see right there, he landed completely horizontal to the ground. He had no lag. There it is. Nope. I mean, it's a Mario. He'll make it back. But oh. and right there, he had more lag because he didn't land completely horizontal to the stage. And that's what happened the uh, last stock where he got punished anyways. So he just landed with a ton of lag. Did you see how far Shuton went? Crazy he got hit far. by that back air, and it looked like he was at like 80, 90% oh. when that happened. You know, he's out the grab, spot dodges it. There's another Aura Sphere. And yet again, no, that Aura Sphere is so oh. threatening. And I love that he frame trapped him, be like, okay, air dodge, because you're going to expect an attack. And then once you land, I'm going to grab you with the command grab, and you know what? I'll do major damage. And oh, look at all his damage. I mean, he brought himself right back into this game. One read, a single grab, and he's already got 53% on Shuton. This actually could be the stock if Sue plays his cards right. right. I mean, one forward Ooh. smash, one side B. I mean, Olimar is super light, and there's the up smash, and oh my god. Shuton's just trying to find his kill. He's playing it so safe, just that he does not die to anything. Lucario oh! does, but no! Oh my oh, god, that almost killed. Here's the RS Sphere fully charged at the ledge, though. Oh my Forcing god. out the neutral getup. He's just going to retreat, charge it a little bit more. And yeah, no blue get... Pikmin, so he's not in danger of getting grabbed right now, but he can't get hit by this purple. Right. I mean, he just can't afford to get hit he can't at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there, there it is. is. Jumps yeah. right into it, and the up air takes it. Shuton 3-1. That very easily could have been a game five. Bro. Honestly, like, when he threw out that aura sphere, and, like, Shuton just normal get up at the perfect yeah, timing, like, that, that could have been yeah, the game right there. That was it right there, yeah. yeah. Like, if he, had, if he had held off on that aura sphere for, like, a fraction of a second longer. Yep. You know, that would have been it. Released it a little bit later. It would have been yep. it would have been it for sure. Yeah. But I mean, fortunately for Shutan, I mean, he, he chose neutral getup, so he, he was confident. Like, he, he more so reacted to right. the Aura Sphere coming at him and used his getup invincibility to just uh, position himself back on the stage. Right. 
And nice. And now we have Nitro versus Razo. So yet again, like the two SoCal people that defended our region now have to fight each other in order to meet Shuton in winner's finals. Shuton in winner's finals, Nitro versus Razo. Is that the match we're doing right now? Yep. On stream. And if you look at the loser side, we have Sue waiting on one side and Ketchup on the other waiting for, uh, oh, he, he uh, 2 0 TG, K9 as Bruce. Yep. And wow, so Ketchup having a really good uh, day today, too. So yeah. he beat Master Mario 2 1. Very nice. Uh, he That's an incredible win right there, definitely. Yep. Uh, I mean, he Ketchup is an unranked SoCal player. All right. Yeah. I feel like we have two Bowser Juniors that are pretty much like about the same level in terms of Ketchup and Taternator, you know? And they're both like, we're almost quite PR, but not really. But I mean, who knows with this next season coming up? Right. We'll see, man. This next season is going to be really interesting. There's, right. I feel like there's going to be a lot of new faces. I mean, Nito, like, popped the hell off this Nito, season. Uh, Luna. Luna popped the hell off. Ketchup. Ketchup popped off. Um, Tignanator. There's more. Yeah. There's more, honestly. There, like, there's so many Lumbre, players. Lumbre, was, Lumbre. Like, re did really good. Like, oh. There's a lot of sh They mean, SoCal is, is popping, bro. Yeah. Definitely, this is a game where you know what? I feel like in Smash 4, if you were on PR, like, you were pretty much going to stay on PR unless you're, like, the 18 through 20 range, mm -hmm. you know? That that was, like, the debate over. Everything else was just, like, are these players actually going to show up to the tournaments or not? And if so, like, right. they're going to make it if they do. If not, then whatever. But, you know what? I feel like in Ultimate, there's a lot tighter gap between, like, the, the PR of the top 20, you know? Like, yeah. I feel like top five is like something, and like six through fifteen, or like six through like eleven is like guaranteed, uh -huh. and then like everybody is fighting for like that twelve through twenty spot. 